I never intended on keeping her myself. She just kind of fell into my lap. And then, for some reason, I thought it would be a good idea to try taking on a special needs cat while I was in med school. And I don't know why, but it actually worked out really well because I could come home during lunch and, you know, take care of her. One thing that's been very nice throughout med school and now during residency is that the schedule can be really taxing, but it's been great to have Scooter there and be able to depend on her as a constant, knowing that I'll always be able to come home and I'll get the same reaction from her no, no matter how late I show up, no matter how much time I have to spend away from home. Scooter is always going to be the same. She's always going to be there and it's always going to be the same feeling when I get home, which is a really good feeling. Scooter, Scoot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi. Got Friday off, taking a road trip home. No. <laughs> it's okay, it's not gonna be that bad. Okay, I'm gonna lie down by Scooter and she's going to stretch her arm over mine. <laughs> You're so predictable. I, I tend to wake up a couple hours before work just to kind of take the morning slowly. Scooter stays in bed. Scoot, it's time to get up. She would stay there for hours and hours and hours unless I drag her out, which I do have to do. Come on. Get up. All right, Scoot. Time to wake up. Let's go. She's always been a really affectionate cat. So she's always been really quick and really uh, eager to ask for help. The biggest thing that I've taken away from having Scooter and taking care of her is that I didn't know that I would have the ability to care so much the nature of taking care of Scooter is that she is so, at times, dependent on me. But I had a lot of gratitude toward her, just by virtue of her being there and being who and what she is, is uh, making me learn a lot about what I can do and what I'm capable of. Like, comment, and subscribe.